In the previous video, we looked at how in most languages, we have different sizes of containers for different types of variables. And within a whole number, we can have a integer data type, we can have a long data type, we can have a short data type. And they're all based on how much room each of those variables take to store. You can sort of think of it like a shoe fitting a foot. And in some cases, we might have a, a value that is simply much smaller than fits in the container. And if you think about this, a foot in a shoe, while a child can maybe shuffle around in an adult's shoe, it's probably not the most comfortable, but it does work. But the opposite of an adult trying to put on a child's shoe uh, is a big problem. And so we have methods, and again, methods are groups of code that do something. We have methods in most languages that convert one data type to another data type. And it's not as big of a problem in Python because we have a very small number of data types and the data types are not um, dictated by a certain size of memory. In other words, we're gonna have an integer that can be as large as we need to, providing our memory is big enough. Same with the float. But I bring this up because we're also talking about object-oriented programming fundamentals and as you move on to other object-oriented languages, such as Java or C Sharp, you're gonna have a greater need to convert between one data type and another type. And we call that conversion casting or data casting. So I'm gonna give you some examples here. I've started up Python and created a new file called 01 data casting. And I have a variable called ABC and I set it equal to an integer value of 25 and I can print ABC. Now it works great here in Python, but in other languages such as C Sharp or Java, you would need to, to cast that integer value as a string before you could print that string or in case of maybe Visual C Sharp, before you could put that string in a text box or a label. So we have in most languages a two string method and that two string method occurs for any object and provides a means to convert that object to a string representation. Well, we don't have the two string method in Python, but we do have a method called str. And remember methods have parentheses. So str abc. And the value that's inside the parentheses for str is what gets converted to a string. So abc being an integer would get converted to a string. Now again, it works fine without that, but also works with it. And just to demonstrate that, I'm gonna go ahead and run this. I'm gonna save my module. And here then is my output. I get 25, that's the print ABC, and I get 25 again, that's the print string of ABC. Now both these printouts are strings, but the print ABC does that automatically. Now, you'll remember that we had some keywords for data types. We had int, float, str, and bool. And each of these keywords represent the method of converting to that data type. So here we're using the str with parentheses and inside the parentheses abc is what we want to convert. I can do the opposite. Let's say I have a value of x equals, I'm gonna do a literal string of five and a value of y equals 10 and I want to say z equals x plus y. And then I'm going to print z. Let me save this. Control S, F5 to run. And notice I get 25 and 510. I really was expecting 15 here. I want to add 5 plus 10. The reason I got 510 is these are strings. And remember, the plus sign not only is the addition operator, it's also the concatenation operator. And so I'm concatenating here two strings. I'm adding two strings together, the string of 5 and the string of 10. So if I want to get z equaling the value of x and the value of y, I could convert x to an integer and I can convert y to an integer using the casting and then if I say print z do a control s f5 
Now I misspelled print. Let me try that again. Notice now I'm getting the 510 here, but here I'm getting a 15. It's converting x to an integer and y to an integer and doing an integer addition or a numeric addition. So that's a case where I'd want to convert from a string to a numeric value. I'm going to demonstrate another one. And that's I'm going to say print. I'm going to say the value of ABC is, we talked a little bit about concatenation. We'll explore that a little more in depth in a future video. But I want to say the value of ABC is ABC. So it should say the value of ABC is 25. Let's run this and see what we get. And I get an error. Notice my error here is, it tells me what line it's the, the on that line, print the value of ABC is ABC, and I'm getting a type error of must be str, not int. Something here must be a string, not an integer. What's an integer? ABC is the integer. I need to convert that to a string. So I'm going to come back here, and let's just change ABC to be str. Now for every left print, I need a right print, so I need another parenthesis. I'm going to run this again. Now I'm getting the value of ABC is 25. So I'm concatenating two strings together, where before it didn't know what to do with a string and an integer. It can't add those together as a numeric value, and it can't add those together as another string. So those are two ways in which we would convert between one data type to another in casting.